new technology giving people like all of us a new way to help during disasters like Irma or Harvey. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom tells us about the apps that are helping save lives. One week before Hurricane Irma hit, the number one app downloaded in Florida was Zello. Florida took its cue from Texas, the so-called Cajun Navy. Individual boat owners who rescued hundreds of people from flooded neighborhoods used the Zello app. You know, the number of trucks and boats, you know, and, uh, and volunteers, you know, that just headed for Houston without a clear idea of what they're going to do when they get there. And then they would find the Zello channels, which which brought some order. Zello functions like a two-way radio. People can ask for help and tell crews where help is needed. It's a new way of doing, of doing business. Less than a month ago, a new app was launched in the Kansas City Metro called Pulse Point. You download the app and get alerts on your phone when there's an emergency in your area. Individuals with and without training can respond. If we save some time and somebody is able to be saved, either through hands-on CPR, you know, I think that's good. There is a possible downside to people doing jobs typically reserved for trained first responders. Now, if you start interfering with law enforcement operations or fire operations and, and not following directions of those individuals at the scene, that becomes problematic. And But I think for the most part, uh, individuals want to do good. Uh, they want to to help and not hinder. The Zello CEO said trained first responders typically listen to Zello to know what private citizens are seeing and doing. He believes Zello allows both teams to work together and bring fast relief to people desperate for emergency help. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.